Hello beautiful! Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. I'm going to be doing a NYX haul slash review and I say that because some of these products I bought and have not had a chance to actually use them yet but um, I bought them and just kind of want to show you guys what I bought because I was so excited whenever they came in. Some of the things I got online because I got a promo code and was able to spend like X amount of dollars on certain products um, through NYX online. And then a lot of the other ones I got while I was in IMAX in New York City. So these may look kind of familiar to those of you who watched my um, IMAX video. Unfortunately, Melissa and I were not able to get together and film a collaboration of what we both bought together. Because um, finals were just really busy and it was a really stressful end of the year. So we're either going to try to get together later this summer, right Melissa? Or, um, you know, we'll do like a collaboration video whenever we get back to campus. But I just want to show you guys um, all the things that I bought from NYX. So first up is all of the jumbo pencils. And these three are eye jumbo pencils. And this one is for the lips. I absolutely love these jumbo pencils. I have been trying to find um, a really good creamy white one for the longest time and I've been buying a lot of like NYC white um, pencils kind of like a black eyeliner pencil I've been getting white ones and they are just not the quality that I'm looking for um, they don't really stay on very long and it's just not it's just not what I'm looking for it's more of uh, I don't know it's very light and I wanted something that was that kind of stood out a little bit more so this one is really really creamy and again it because it's a jumbo pencil it's like a perfect size and it's a really great base too so this one is milk and it's the color 604 and it looks like that so the lighting is kind of weird it's dark out so this is like a one of my lights so you can't really see but this is what the color looks like and again it just applies on so well it's extremely extremely like milky and it just lasts a really long time so I love it um, another one that I bought, I was trying to stick with colors that I could use more for everyday looks instead of going, you know, kind of crazy and getting like blues, purples, or just something really, really out there um, for like eye makeup looks. I wanted to get something that I would almost guarantee that I would use on a more day to day basis. So I got this color and it's Cashmere number 630. And it's a very, very light color. It's really just a shimmer, it's a gold shimmer. So on my hand it doesn't really show up that well, but um, I'm definitely going to be doing an everyday makeup look with NYX colors, and um, but it's really pretty and it's a really like nice shimmer too. So I'm going to be putting that one probably just on you know the top of my eyelids, and then for the crease I got this color, which is French fries, and it's number six oh nine. So this one is kind of like a copper color, like a, and it's, again, they apply so well. For those of you that have never um, applied makeup with NYX Jumbo Pencils, I would really, really recommend and suggest going out and buying some because they last such a long time. I have to like really scrub to get the color off, so that's a good sign because that means that it will stay and it's like a really long lasting. Um, and they're just so smooth and um, they just apply so well. So I really like those. So these are my favorite. And then I also got a black one. This is Black Bean number 601. And you'll see that this one is really, really, really like bold, dark. So that one shows up really, really well. Um, so yeah, so these are the eye jumbo pencils. And then I got this red one, which appears in my eye mats video, this is the one that I was wearing as soon as I left eye mats. I wore it almost every single day while I was on campus. The thing with this one that I noticed is that it's not its not really a long-lasting one. Um, it is, but when it starts to fade, it almost gives that look on your lips that you took um, like a red lip pencil and kind of outlined your lips and forgot to fill it in with lipstick. So I don't like that it fades that way. Um, I mean, I'm assuming that a lot of other different brands do the same thing because I've noticed that, but this one kind of makes it more obvious that it's wiping off, and I didn't really like that. Um, but it's plush red number 712, if you were wondering. And 
I don't know. I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so creamy. It doesn't feel thick. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like, you know, sticky because there's some lipsticks and lip products that you just, you know you're wearing lipstick. It really is just not a good feeling and, you know, your hair gets stuck to it, especially for like really lip glossy kind of products. But, um, so I love the way that it feels, but sometimes it just, you know, it doesn't last as long as I would like. But a combination that I have been using starting like at the beginning of the summer is a combination of these two things that I got online. It's a NYX color lip balm and um, I guess it's like CLB06 is the is the color of it. Um, but it's this one is a really really glossy so you can feel that you have that you're wearing something but it looks like this and again I'm sticking with the really really bright reds and then I got, actually, this one I got in iMats. This one appears in my iMats video, yeah. This is the matte one. And it's a lipstick, so it looks like this. And what I do is I apply this on first and then put this on. So it, it looks really, really red, but it's very, very long-lasting. Um, obviously, if you eat or drink or something and it kind of comes off, carry both and just reapply, but I would say that those the, com the combination of those two lasts longer than this does, but I love, between the three of them, I just love it. I love like really, really red lips, that's something that I'm really getting into um, recently, so I like it. Um, something that I have not tried yet, but I've kind of just played around with it and like used brushes and stuff for my hand is the NYX Matte Bronzer, and I haven't been out in the sun yet. It's been kind of rainy and gross here, so unfortunately I can't really sit out in the sun and suntan, but this is what it looks like. And again, it's just like it's a really nice matte. I absolutely love the texture and I love the way that it feels like on. I haven't worn it out in public, but I mean when I was trying it on the back of my hand and on my face, um, it looks nice. So I'm excited to start wearing this and it's the color Deep. And I think there were, it was like a deeper color and then a shade lighter than this, but it was almost kind of um, more orange based and I don't think that it would match well with my skin tone. So then I got really, really fun false lashes and these ones have like little feathers on the sides. I don't really wear false lashes often. I naturally have long lashes and I bought a NYX, um, the, um, it's a NYX mascara that has two different brushes. There's one that's, it's one brush, but two different ways of applying it. And it's the um, Provocateur. And I actually really, really love it. I misplaced it because I brought it downstairs and didn't bring it back up here. And I was like looking frantic before filming this video and I can't find it. So be on the lookout because when I do my everyday like NYX inspired makeup look, um, I'll be using it, but I can't find it for this video. But what I've discovered with that is that it kind of irritates my eyes whenever I wash my face, so what I do is I kind of like take each individual eyelash, like I wet my, my hands with water and like soap, and I take it and just kind of like pull the, the mascara off first and then wash my face, because before when I would just, you know, wash it normally without taking the mascara off my eyelashes first, it was just really, I don't know, it irritated my eyes. I don't know if that was just me, but that's my own personal um, review of the mascara, but it elongates the eyelashes like the brush really does an awesome job of like taking each individual eyelash and like extending them so I love the product it's just that kind of the taking off part wasn't working I don't know it just it kind of hurt it irritated my eyes a little bit but I really like it so I don't really use like these kinds of eyelashes not that I would ever wear these on the day-to-day -day basis but I saw these when I was at iMats because you walk in there and you're just <sighs> There's just makeup everywhere and I loved it. So I bought these just for fun and I bought these just for fun as well. These ones are Unstable number 188. And so they're just really nice like blue ones. And then this one, sorry, was 153 Soprano. So I'm excited to do these kinds of looks. I probably won't don't won't do anything for them until maybe like Halloween or something. This one I really want to do for um, like New Year's or some sort of party or something. It's Guilty Pleasure number 126 and they're just 
super shimmery. They're just like sparkles everywhere, and I think they're so pretty. So I'm excited to do something with that. Then, these are just brushes. They're not really NYX, but they were in my NYX bag because this is the one that I got at IMAX, this NYX thing. So these are just two random brushes, but anyway. Um, then I got a pencil. This one is number 938 Aqua Shimmer, and it looks like this. So it's like a really pretty shimmery color. And it looks like this. So I'm going to probably incorporate this one into my everyday look because I did a kind of tester look when I was just messing around with makeup before washing my face. And it looked really nice, like down below. So I'm excited to do that, but it's really pretty. There's like, it's really shimmery. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really shimmery. So I thought it was awesome. So this one I also got at IMAX. It's a glitter liner. And Melissa, I think she got this one and like the gold one too. There's a gold one, but I think I would use this one more, but it comes in a cute little case too. So looks like this. And then I haven't used this one yet, but I will be soon. This one I got online. This is a cream shadow. Excuse me. Because again, I just kind of wanted to um, stick with colors that I knew I would wear on a more day-to-day -day basis. So this one is, um, it's water resistant, it's a creamy shadow. And this one says, let's see. It just says like CRS01 at the top. Okay. Um, but this one is a really, really nice color too. And this is, um, it's a different shadow, but. So again, very neutral. I didn't want to do anything that was too crazy. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to wear it. And it looks really nice on too. So I'll be doing another look for another video with that. And then I got the NYX concealer in a jar. And it looks like this. And this one is porcelain, of course, because I'm super white. So this one I use like at the bottom of my eyes. And then again, before using the jumbo pencils, um, I just kind of like dip my finger in and then put it on the tops of my eyelids before applying the eyeshadow. And that's pretty much it. Besides the mascara, those are all the things that I got from NYX. And I have been really pleased. I love I love their makeup. I think it's really, really good quality. Um, this, is, this is the eye mats thing that I got. So this one was just in the bag. Makeup is such an amazing thing. I mean, look at all the things that you can do with makeup. It's just unreal. I walked in there and I don't know, my jaw like dropped to the ground because makeup is just so cool and I just had so much fun. So we also got these little like NYX 2012 spring summer collection. So a lot of the things that you see in here I bought um, to kind of like test out, but I don't know if you guys are really curious to see what's in here, but just like a lot of makeup and it's all awesome. So. I would suggest getting it. Like here's the lip balm that I bought and the cream shadow. So, I mean, they're all they're all in this like spring summer 2012 collection. So, yeah. That is what I bought. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products um that I haven't tried yet, but you would like to get like a quicker response and you know, want me to try doing something with it sooner than I would think that I would be doing it, um, let me know and I'll do like a specific review on the product or I'll do a makeup look specifically with whatever product you would like for me to do. Um, cause obviously you can see that my background is my bedroom again. So I'm back at home and, um, we'll hopefully continue making more videos. So let me know again, if you have anything, I'm going to be updating my Twitter and my Facebook page more regularly. I promise. So I hope that you guys go check that out and my blog as well. Um, that was more updated regularly than this channel, unfortunately. But yeah, so hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Ciao!